Welcome to uh, Save Your Money, Save Your Teeth. This is the go-to podcast where curiosity meets dentistry straight from the experts. It's Jan with you and every week I'll be chatting with uh, Dr. Clifford Udelman as we take a deep dive into the world of dental care from a consumer's perspective. So whether you're looking to brighten that smile or uh, protect your wallet, we have got you covered with practical advice and also the latest insights. So stick around as we uncover the secrets to maintaining both your dental health and also your finances. Dr. Udelman, welcome back. Thanks, Ian. Thanks for having me back uh, this week and look forward to talking to you about pregnancy and oral health today. Yeah, and I mean, uh, that's quite a link there. I mean, how does pregnancy actually affect oral health, Dr. Yudelman? So one of the things that happens when someone is pregnant is they get more estrogen and progesterone and you get more blood flow to the gums and can make people more susceptible to, to the plaque and plaque will cause more swelling and bleeding. It's, that's the one thing. The other thing is morning sickness increases acid in the mouth, which can erode your enamel and make your teeth more vulnerable to decay. And when a lady is pregnant, they should make sure they get a, a checkup. Uh, any, any preventive measures can save money on restorative procedures after the pregnancy. And um, what are pregnancy, gingivitis, and uh, periodontal disease? So the, the hormones actually change the, the way your body responds to the bacteria. And some patients, if they already have some gum problems, when they get pregnant, the, the change in hormones can make the gum disease go under the gum a lot quicker and it can complicate systemic health. We've mentioned in a previous podcast can lead to preterm birth where the baby's born early. There's a link between gum disease and bleeding gums. So gingivitis is bleeding gums and periodontal disease is more advanced bleeding gums where it's actually affecting the bone. And, you know, early diagnosis and treatment to manage uh, the symptoms can can be very effective and cost effective compared to treating advanced periodontal disease. So I'm wondering uh, for the moms to be uh, any dental procedures that they should avoid during pregnancy. So generally we don't recommend, we won't do teeth whitening if someone's pregnant and or breastfeeding other non urgent Treatments can be delayed, any kind of cosmetic dentistry. If somebody has an emergency procedure where they have an infection, we can treat patients. We will often speak to the uh, gynecologist or the obstetrician if there is a question. And there are certain times during the pregnancy where it's better to have certain treatments, but one doesn't need to suffer with severe pain. Most types of treatments or procedures that control infection or relief pain are safe during pregnancy and waiting till after the pregnancy will just make it a lot worse. Now, obviously, there's a lot of hormonal changes happening during a pregnancy. Uh, what can uh, the ladies do to uh, mitigate these negative effects on them? So, yes. So things like um, pregnancy tumors or something called a pyogenic granuloma. I've actually had patients that have come in with this. One patient was when I was practicing in Perth and she was pregnant with twins and she had multiple of these pregnancy tumors, which is where the gums just proliferate and and they cause almost like a big, it looks like a growth on the gum and you just touch it and it bleeds very easily. Um, There's other kinds of common pregnancy gum lesions because of hormonal changes. Some people can get dry mouth or excessive saliva. So using sugar-free gum or candies to stimulate saliva is a good thing and staying hydrated and having regular checkups and good oral hygiene is very important. And doctor, what would you say are the best oral hygiene practices for pregnant women? 
So always use an alcohol-free mouthwash if you're going to use a mouthwash. Um, I wouldn't recommend using mouthwash with alcohol. And a very soft bristled toothbrush and a fluoride toothpaste. It's quite safe to use fluoride toothpaste when you are pregnant, which will help to to make sure that your gums don't get too sensitive and also prevent tooth decay. And it's also very important if one's not a big flosser to actually make sure if you just found out you're pregnant, it's a good time to learn how to floss your teeth, go and get a good cleaning before your gums get swollen. You can use little interdental brushes or little brush picks as well, which will improve your gum health and any kind of bleeding in your gums is is not a good thing, especially when you're pregnant. So obviously the health of a mother's teeth and gums can affect the baby. Yes, a lot of people don't think about that, but the mother can actually transmit bacteria. And so if a mother has got a lot of cavities and they're not treated and she has a baby, the the baby catches the bacteria similar to catching an infection and can lead to early childhood decay. Wow. And also, um, like we mentioned before, if you've got periodontal disease, you get preterm births and low birth rate babies. And once again, getting a checkup and, and making sure that this is not going on in your own mouth, especially if you're thinking of falling pregnant or in some cases, if you're having a hard time falling pregnant, maybe there's inflammation in your mouth and it's a, it's a good thing to check it out. So, Doctor, do you have any dietary advice maybe for uh, the expectant mothers to promote uh, that good oral health? Yes, I would limit sugary snacks and acidic foods. We've spoken about that at some length before. Um, a lot of people just, they think it's a free-for-all when they're pregnant. They'll eat lots of those sour gummies and their teeth will get very sensitive. They'll blame it on the baby. They can get a lot of erosion. Um, if someone does have extreme morning sickness with a lot of vomiting or regurgitation of acid, it's good to rinse your mouth with water afterwards. Don't brush your teeth right away. Afterwards, make sure you're using a fluoride toothpaste. The dentist has something called tooth mousse, which is a calcium and phosphate sort of um, conditioner for your teeth that you can use if you have got a lot of morning sickness. Uh, cheese is very good. Hard cheese is very good. And other calcium-rich foods like milk and so on, which help to to support mineralization of the baby's developing teeth. And a balanced diet is, is very good, um, you know, making sure you're getting lots of vitamin A and C and D, as well as omega-3 fatty acids. These things are all very good for you when you're pregnant and also good for your gums. So, Doctor, can we maybe discuss uh, the common myths about uh, dental care during pregnancy? I know that there's one, for example, uh, that uh, the calcium for the baby's teeth is taken from the mother's teeth. Is this correct? Yeah, I'm pleased you bring you brought that up. So that's uh, that's absolute nonsense. Your teeth, once they're fully formed and they're in your mouth, have no way. There's no way for the baby to take the calcium out of your teeth, the, the, the crown of your tooth that's erupted. Um, there's that myth that you, you lose a child, a tooth for every child, and that's definitely not the case. If, if somebody doesn't look after their teeth and they fall pregnant and they eat a lot of sweets and they do some of the things that we mentioned before, then they could lose a tooth, but it's got nothing to do with the baby taking the calcium. Another myth is dental x-rays when you're pregnant uh, are safe. If you have an emergency, the dentist can make sure that they use the you know very low radiation and just take a, a small x-ray. In fact, all x-rays are safe. We tend to to put them off if someone is pregnant and they don't have any kind of urgent needs, just more for psychological reasons. And definitely one should continue your dental visits during pregnancy just to manage your health and, and any costs. And what signs of oral health issues should a pregnant woman be on uh, the lookout for, doctor? 
So if teeth suddenly start getting more and more sensitive or sudden pain in your teeth or your gums, or if your gums are pulling away from your teeth, if you have persistent bleeding, if you get any unusual looking oral lesions or sores or growths, um, you know, these things can lead to more severe health issues. And so one should not delay going to see the dentist just because you're pregnant. In fact, that's a good time to go. And then finally, uh, we talk about post-pregnancy oral care. What should new mothers do to ensure their oral health is restored after giving birth? So definitely want to have a comprehensive dental checkup with x-rays, make sure that any cavities are filled, any gum treatment that's needed that wasn't done when you were pregnant or maybe you didn't go when you were pregnant, that now's the time to go. Yeah, if your gums were bleeding during the pregnancy, and your oral hygiene is good, your your gums will definitely go back to normal once the hormones are normalized. And definitely, you know, resuming regular dental care routines, which will prevent future problems, is highly recommended. And that wraps up uh, today's episode of uh, Save Your Money, Save Your Teeth. Uh, Dr. Yudelman, thank you once again for uh, your expertise and uh, for your time. Thank you, and thanks for having me on, and I look forward to speaking to you next week where we'll talk about x-rays in more detail. And that's going to be interesting. And uh, also remember, while we strive to provide valuable insights, always consult with your own dental professional for advice tailored to your personal health. Also, don't forget to uh, subscribe for more enlightening discussions. And then you can join us again next week, same time, same place, as we continue to explore the fascinating intersection of uh, dental health and financial savvy. Until then, keep smiling and taking great care of your teeth. Discover the world of dental excellence with OptiSmile. Join us for a weekly podcast featuring Dr. Clifford Udelman, a seasoned expert with 40 years of dental experience across four continents. Gain unique insights and expert dental advice by visiting optismile.co.za for articles that illuminate the path to optimal oral health. If you're seeking unparalleled dental care in Cape Town, get in touch with OptiSmile or book directly online on optismile.co.za. OptiSmile, where global expertise meets local care.